Extreme weather in parts of Canada causes major flooding, power outages. CNN Extreme weather in parts of Canada is causing flooding and power outages in several areas, including Toronto, Mississauga, and North Dumfries Township. Environment Canada issued several weather alerts Saturday, including rainfall warnings and a severe thunderstorms watch. In Toronto, extremely heavy rain continues as of 3.08 p.m., with rainfall amounts of 100 to 200 mm, Mississauga is also experiencing heavy rain that is expected to continue this afternoon through Sunday, according to Environment Canada. In the Waterloo region, emergency services provided support across the area after a tornado warning and reports of a tornado touching down in North Dumfries Township, according to a news release from Waterloo Regional Police at approximately 11 a.m., police. Responded to reports of a tornado touching down in the area of Greenfield Road between Northumberland Street and Trussler Road in Air, the release read. Multiple homes and businesses in the area sustained property damage, and several trees and power lines were downed. According to the Waterloo Regional Police, power is out for approximately 3,000 customers in Air due to the storm. No physical injuries were reported in North Dumfries Township or throughout Waterloo Region due to the tornado and severe weather, the release read. Mississauga Fire said in a post on X that firefighters assisted pedestrians in areas impacted by flooding. There were also several road closures. Some roads are experiencing localized flooding. Stay safe and plan your route accordingly, Mississauga Fire said. Toronto Pearson Airport Saturday experienced service interruption due to weather conditions. Due to a disruptive storm system over Toronto Pearson Airport this afternoon for a sustained period of time, there are many resulting flight diversions and ground delays. This is having a major impact on passengers, Toronto Pearson Airport posted on X, travelers are encouraged to check with their airlines before leaving for the airport. Updates to follow.